How are you doing? So, what are we doing today? All right, we've got this beautiful gazebo that we love to sit under. Um, I fixed the problem in the corner where the birds used to sit. They used to build nests in here. So I cut some little plywood, which I didn't show, but I cut some little plywood. These are lava rocks that Sadie grabs throughout the day, starts to chew on them, and I take them away and put them up here. Um, but this little piece keeps the birds from building a nest here. But now the problem is the birds, as you can see, sit up on this nice ledge and they crap. And then if a chair just happens to be sitting underneath there, the chair gets crap on it. So we are going to fix that right now. So here's what we bought on Amazon. Bird off. Their little acrylic. Um, bird off spikes. Um, says for pigeons, I'm hoping it should work for sparrows flying in there. They probably won't want to sit there. Here's what they look like. Sorry for the mess here. I'm going to open the package up already, but there are little spikes. Let my wife show you what those look like. <laughs> so that's what they look like. And we're going to put them up there on the ledge right there across on all four sides. But I'll show you what we're going to do and how we're going to do this. So it comes with these little spikes right here, as you can see. If you guys don't have one of these little giant step ladders that is the best step ladder ever Mine is better. no that one's not better than this one no not better no this one is awesome this thing is so sturdy all right so what comes in the box just all these little spikes and some um silicone rubber adhesive so what we're going to do is we're going to use my denatured alcohol we're going to clean the top up here my beautiful wife is going to crawl up onto her not so sturdy ladder <laughs> and go up there and videotape me doing this so let's get ready and do this all right so hold on one second while we get everything prepared all right we're both on ladders so they give you this little silicone silicone rubber um, if you've never used one of these but you'll see a little point on this part right there. When you take off this cap, you see it's sealed. You use that little point to push on there, which breaks the seal. And now you've got silicone you can use. So I'm gonna put the top back on that real quick. And then I'm going to grab, hold on, I'll be right back. There's a dog down here that loves to grab things. Sorry, there's a dog down there that grabs everything. Today, Sadie has taken my iPhone again. She cracked the screen, the screen protector. Then I got that replaced at Best Buy for eight bucks because I have the lifetime warranty on it. Didn't tell my dog grabbed onto it. Don't think it matters though. Um, and then today she grabbed my readers off the fire table and decided to chew those up also. So lots of fun. So we're gonna use the denatured alcohol we're just going to clean this top ledge here because you want to have a nice, good, clean surface for that glue to adhere to. So we're going to clean all the way across, get the bird crap off there. I'm going to go as far as I am going here, all the way across there. And then we'll dry it with the other side. All right, so that looks good right now. Nice and clean. So we'll be able to put this on there. I tell you, this gazebo has been awesome. Stick this in my pocket so my pants will smell like denatured alcohol. So now we're gonna take the glue and I'll take one of those from you, darling. She's doing the videoing and I'm um, holding all the pieces for this section. So what we're going to do is because of this roof here and this here, this first one, we're going to have it tilting in so we can get it nice and close to the edge like that. And all we're going to do, they don't really give you a lot of directions, 
But this is really just silicone, so we're gonna put silicone on the back, oops, on the bottom of this. Just gonna squeeze it out. And then we'll set that down. And then we're gonna take this and just stick it in place. And push it all the way up to the edge. And I think we're gonna be good. When you push it down, it kind of gets that little suction going. So I think we look pretty good there. So you can see how that looks. All right, that one's good there. I'm gonna move it this way just a little. Go right to that screw that's there. So nobody's gonna get in deep right there. Should be good. All right. I'm going to put the cap there. We're going to take the next one, which is right here. And you can see how they kind of angle out that way. And they got some that go straight up. So this time we're going to angle it out and put it right on the other side of that screw. And here we go. We're just going to put the boxy back on here, the glue. I've got extra silicone if I run out. We're going to put this one facing out right on the other side of this screw. And just push it down nice and tight. Well, that one's staying down pretty good. All right, and now we're going to take the next one. And since we don't have a screw again, we're going to do the same thing. You're just going to put it on here. If you don't clean it, you're not going to have this stuff sticking that great. You could also probably put some tape on here to hold it down if you wanted to. Uh, since we're on the still on the other side of this beam here, we're just going to butt it up against that one and leave it on facing outwards. Nice thing I like about this is it's just silicone, which we could probably just pull off if we needed to, as opposed to screwing holes into this metal, which I don't want to really do. All right, now one more left. And this one we're going to, because we're hitting this beam right here. I have to turn the camera just a little bit. Since we're going to hit this beam right here, we're going to turn this one inside so it goes right up against the thing Kind of create like a little barrier, a gauntlet, if you will. What movie was that from? A good old Dirty Harry movie, The Gauntlet. So we're going to put some more silicone on here. And so we are done with that piece. And like I said, we're going to put this one this way. And butt it up against the other one. Get these vertical spikes right there up against the metal. And we are going to be good. Sweet. Can you hear the crunching, guys? That's Sadie with another lava rock. All right, that looks awesome. Turned out really well. So we're going to uh, go around the whole exterior. Once I'm done with the whole exterior, I will uh, give you a video of everything when it's done. They kind of look cool from the other side. They kind of look like icicles upside down. Uh, but hopefully the birds will not be able to land on those um, and crap all over the edges here. So hopefully that fixes it. And as I continue to go with this gazebo, this is our second year, I think it is. I've the aerodynamics of this thing are awesome. I've never even bolted this thing down and we've had some pretty good windstorms and it hasn't moved at all from where it's been sitting on this cement slab. So let's uh, finish this up and I'll come back and show you guys it all the way around the outside. Okay guys, so we just got the other boxes out of the house um, and look at this. Whoop, hold on. Ugh. They're different. Hold it in front of your chest, like so down. this one here, see how the little things go down? And then this is the other boxes that we got. Cheaper. 
Don't know what's going on. Thinner, Thinner cheaper. Not, uh, I'm gonna put them up. I think they'll look okay still. Should stop the birds. Just a little bit flimsier. So, all right, let's continue to go. Hey guys, so we are done. It took about 35 minutes to do. It really turned out nice, I'll show you. They did have those different types. So we had three boxes of those and then an extra or one box of the other one. So we had four boxes is what I got, which left us eight pieces left over. But let me show you. So you can see. That should stop the birds. Kind of decorative, not too bad. Coming all the way around. And you can see those. I gotta get rid of those uh, white or those yellow things that you see there by the lights. Um, I had adhesive um, cable ties on there. They didn't work. So then I ended up drilling holes and using these to hold the lights in place. I think from the sun hitting those over the one year, then they finally just gave away. And then here's the other side from inside. You can see how easy that was. Just a silicone caulk all the way around so guys that turned out really good really easy to do like i said 35 minutes to put all of those up we had what eight on each side um just put the silicone glue on the back side push them in place the suction kind of holds them in place and they're not going to go anywhere so we'll see how they turn out um, over the winter time see how they hold up but I think they'll be good. It's kind of shaded from the sun most of the time because of the roof. So they'll be good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's another way. Any other things I come up with with this gazebo, I'll let you know. Uh, if you've got any other type of gazebo, uh, it may you probably got you could use those on any of the cross beams that they sit on. My wife wanted me to mention they do not hurt the birds. Uh, basically, it just stops them from landing up there. Sadie's chewing another rock. Um, but yeah, it really turned out good easy project and keep the birds from crapping up there now which will be good and they're about in the middle of the beam so they won't come in from the back side or the other side because they only have probably about that much and they're not going to sit on there so if you guys got another way of doing this on a gazebo let me know put it in the comments section but yeah this one turned out really good all right guys i will see you later um yeah it turned out beautiful i'll walk over to this side again so you can see this gazebo again I might do the video where I did some still shots of us, my wife and I, putting this gazebo up. But yeah, this gazebo is beautiful. See how beautiful that thing is? Turned out really nice. Got a cable going across from the house for electricity. Oh yeah, it really turned out nice. Got the fire table, you can see the roof on it. Really turned out nice. All right guys, thank you. See you later. Bye-bye, have a great day.